Spring cleaning equals haul time, or at least in my head. Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. It's another edition, yes, haul time, one of my favorite things to do on this channel, highlighting all the geeky stuff that I acquired in the month of March. Uh, the video was uploaded a little bit late, but that's okay, you guys don't mind, I'm pretty sure. And speaking of you guys, I got a bunch of new subscribers. Welcome to everybody that's uh, dropping in brand new into this channel. I tend to do book reviews, movies, and all that stuff, but due to unforeseen circumstances, I have had to limit things to just books, but I will be talking about movies and all that stuff in the near future. So yeah, uh, usually if you're new, what we do is we talk about uh, all the stuff I got uh, on the haul videos. It's, it's not that complicated, actually. I don't know why I set it up like some kind of lecture. Uh, uh, manga, trade paperbacks, hardcovers, uh, figures, DVDs, Blu-rays, whatever. It, 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 this this channel, this whole idea is to celebrate the geekdom, of course. So hence the a week in geekdom. I don't know if you guys uh, noticed that. So yeah, let's begin with manga. Continuing uh, my read through from Seven Seas and their release of the Ancient Magus Bride. I have here uh, volume three. And volume four. This is a fantastic series. The first volume of Smoking Parade. Uh, I, this this is all over the place. I'll do a video on it soon. Don't worry about it. I also did get uh, Fire Force from uh, what's the uh, mangaka's name? Oh, uh, Atsushi Okubo. I think he was the one that did uh, yeah Soul Leader. So if you like Soul Leader, how could you not like a manga about a fire fighting force of uh, teens and adults, young adults, that combat spontaneous human combustion. I got nothing. Let's go to soft cover trade paperbacks or whatever. I did a review on this. It is Falling for Lionheart. If you want to check it out, it's here on this channel. Gwenpool Volume 2, Head of Modoc. I don't know who I have to blame for this, but I blame somebody from the Omnibus Collector Group on Facebook that I even own this. It is New Mutants, uh, the complete collection from Zeb Wells. One of the teams that I do enjoy from the X side of the Marvel comics is the New Mutants, and I love Magic, so I cannot wait. I've already read some pages, and it is pretty damn awesome. Instead of upgrading to the big hardcover with the whole trilogy, I did get Divinity 2 and Divinity 3 from uh, Valiant. I gotta blame my friend uh, Gabe for insisting I read this. It is the first volume of Transmetropolitan. Next up, here is Postal Volume 2. I did a review not too long ago, and I cannot wait to continue the story. And talking about continuing the story, I have The Rise of Aqualad. I cannot wait to talk about this with you guys, because it's awesome. Also, Super Sons. I finally got Super Sons. I had to get this, uh, the Jack Kirby 100th Celebration Collection, which features a couple one-shots celebrating, of course, the DC creations uh, that the King made, including uh, Sandman, you've got uh, Newsboy Legion and the Boy Commandos, uh, you've got Mr. Miracle, Etrigan the Demon, Orion, Darkseid, and much, much more with a ton of creators on this pretty damn good. And I had to do it because I love me some Hanna-Barbera books. I love this new imprint and I went ahead and picked up Scooby Apocalypse Volume 3. So this was a gift from my good friend Felipe. This is part of something else that I will highlight in a little bit. It is Batman Gates of Gotham. I've always wanted to read Gates of Gotham for some reason. I. Uh, Never got around to it, but uh, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Let's move on to hardcovers. I was upgrading my series of Why the Last Man. I gave away my uh, soft cover trades and I picked up, I don't know if I featured this many months ago, but I did get book one, book two, and book three, book four and five, unfortunately, did not arrive in time for the making of this video. And speaking of Vertigo, I picked up Sweet Tooth Volume 2 Deluxe Hardcover and the third Deluxe Hardcover, essentially finishing the story. I've read the first one and it was pretty interesting, so I cannot wait 
to see how it all ends, and supposedly it's going to be an epic journey, so, yeah. And, um, speaking of Gates of Gotham, epic journeys, and awesome books, I have to thank my good friend uh, Felipe for helping me out in acquiring something that I have been meaning to get for at least a year and a half. It's a series that it's horribly out of print, and I know a lot of collectors have it in their shelves. So, I did the same. <laughs> um, Felipe was kind enough to venture into the infamous Ollie's store of mythical items, and they were uh, selling um, different Starman uh, volumes at like eight to ten dollars or something like that. I'm not too sure at the moment, but. Yeah, Starman Omnibus Volume 1, the soft cover. Soft cover for uh, Volume 2. And uh, the hard cover for Volume 5. And I picked up Volume 4 from somebody online uh, off of eBay. Now, of course, uh, Volume 6 did not arrive in time. I did get that as well. And uh, Volume 3 is the infamous uh, out-of-print book that is extremely pricey and I'm probably never, ever going to get. So I'm content just owning the rest of the series and the contents of Volume 3 I'll read off of uh, Comixology or something. I, I don't know. But regardless, I am pretty excited about finally owning... A piece of uh, DC history, if you will. Everybody talks so highly of Starman, and I've always been really curious about it, so for real cheap money, I got almost all the series. I cannot complain. Last but not least, I had to because I have the first volume, and I love Wonder Woman and then her new 52 run from Azzarello. I picked up Absolute Wonder Woman Volume 2, and it is fantastic the hall doesn't end here folks let's go with figures i gotta thank my friend josh was kind enough to hook me up with mr fantastic speaking of toys rest in power rest in peace the mighty toys r us it's finally going under and um, a lot of people are sad about it of course i am too it's a generational thing everybody uh experienced toys r us in some shape or form and i will remember it fondly so before uh scalpers go at it and buy everything and resell it for ridiculous prices i am starting to pick out certain toys r us exclusives that i'm missing so i started with my first one which is a recent acquisition it's the pop for sonic the hedgehog it, this is the glow in the dark edition from toys r us celebrating the 25th anniversary i picked up this jurassic park pop for the dilophosaurus i think i said that right uh my favorite dinosaur in the whole franchise and overall really my favorite dino and i had to do it one of my favorite comic books uh, modern comic books i went ahead and started getting all the saga pops because i love saga and they look phenomenal as funko pops here's isabel from the uh the hot topic exclusive i should say the common lying cats Marco right there and uh, the will the non chase version because Look, I'm never gonna be able to find a chase in the wild. Oh and uh, Prince robot the fourth The only one I'm missing is Alana and I am not going to get the common one because there's the specialty version which has uh, uh, Baby hazel in it. So you get two characters for one and it just feels Right to get that version instead of the one the common one with the gun now for the movie segment not a whole lot actually just two blu-rays that i wanted to highlight i did get attack on titan season two and love me some steel books i did get the jim lee sketched uh or drawn or whatever here's the back 4k steel book for justice league love it oh and remember comic books i i i gotta give a massive shout out to uh, Mr. Omnidog himself, Jess Bragg, for hooking me up with this surprise package of the first issue of Mira, Queen of Atlantis, the new miniseries. Now, what's special about this is this is an ECCC variant foil edition, because look at that, it's it's gorgeous. Plus, it's the you can find the regular variant uh, in stores done by Art Germ. I love this so much. Thank you, Jess. This this really means the world to me. You are the best. 
Oh, and speaking of art germ, I had to pick it up because it looks so pretty. It's the Mighty Thor issue 705. I do believe it's the end of the Foster run. But uh, I haven't read it. I'm just getting it strictly for the art. Uh, I'm making that disclosure right here, right now. So yeah, guys, that in a nutshell is am i missing anything i don't i don't know i've probably wasted more of your time already so yeah but regardless of all of that you guys are awesome thank you once again for liking commenting subscribing and just being awesome and supporting this channel if you can like and share this content it would mean the world to me if you find a cool book review and you make a comment that helps and of course the likes hitting the notification bell so you get uh notifications when this face pops up on screen thank you um it it, it just helps and it fills me it fills me with joy that i can help entertain you guys even if it's just sharing a couple of words and talking about the nerdy stuff that we all love thank you guys it, it really does mean the world to me as always follow me on your favorite social media platform as well just type a week and geek them and i'm there for you i've got to go i've got to organize this mess that's in front of me and keep reading and doing more awesome stuff for you guys i will catch all of you on our next episode